Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about two months ago, Microsoft ended support for Windows 10 on the 14th of October 2025. Unless, obviously, as we have been posting on the channel, you signed up to the ESU, the Extended Security Updates Program. And I'll leave a video I posted on that process linked down below in the end screen because it has helped a couple of folks out. Now, just to let you know that there are reports doing the rounds that for Windows 10 PCs that aren't enrolled in the ESU Extended Security Updates Program, that you are unable to pause updates for seven days. The option apparently is grayed out and is faded out, so you cannot click on it. Now, as you can see, I can because I have enrolled in the Extended Security Updates Program. But if you aren't, there are reports saying that this option is faded and grayed out. And as an example, if you start the Windows 11 upgrade, as you can see, I'm being offered 25H2, you also cannot cancel because the pause option as mentioned, is grayed out. Now, prior to this, the option to pause updates became unusable only if you had paused updates several times before or if you work in an organization which prevented you from pausing updates using a group policy. So that would be managed by IT admins and so on. So if you haven't enrolled in the Windows 10 ESU program, there are reports saying that this option is no more. Now, in true Microsoft fashion, Microsoft hasn't commented. So there could be one or two reasons why this option is grayed out if you are not enrolled in the Extended Security Updates Program. Number one, it could just be a bug. Number two, it could be intentional. And number three, Microsoft is wanting to force upgrade Windows 10 machines to Windows 11 if they are not enrolled in the Extended Security Updates program. But no word from Microsoft, so I'm just letting you guys know if that's the case and you don't want to be upgraded to Windows 11, if you are offered Windows 11 and you're not signed up to ESU, just take note, just be careful because obviously that could be a bit of a loophole where you will be force upgraded. So if I get any more info, I'll let you guys know or if Microsoft confirms the issue, obviously I'll keep you guys posted. But let me know down below in the comments if that is happening to you. I'd be interested to hear how wide this issue is globally. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.